a debtor can pay 87 paise in the rupee he can pay 87 paisa in the rupee but if his creditors would take 20 percent of his debts he could pay them and have rupees 42 left so basically he's in a this person is in a bad situation right he is now in a position where he can only pay 87 paisa out of every rupee that he has borrowed that means if he has borrowed uh, 100 paisa he'll be able to pay only 87 paisa out of it right now it also says that if his creditors that means the persons who have given him the money take 20 percent of his debts if they if they you know forgive 20 percentage means what they say that okay you have borrowed 100 paisa don't pay 100 paisa back pay only 80 paisa so if you pay only 80 paisa i mean if they you know give this option to him then he could pay them and also have rupees 42 left so then he can also pay them uh, whatever they are expecting and save rupees 42 right he can save rupees 42 so his debts and assets respectively are just go by one point what is that point forget about 87 by 1 rupee and all that just look at this point that if his 20 percent of his debts are taken out if 20 percent of his debts are taken out then he can pay that and also have rupees 42 left what is he asking us to find out his debts and assets you know what is debt, right that is your liability right whatever you have to pay and assets is whatever you you know totally have have with you so look at this assume that option a is correct so if option a is correct his total debt is how much 400 rupees and his assets are 520 so is it a good situation or a bad situation this is obviously a good situation right understand this person's debts are greater than his assets remember that point number one only then uh, you know it makes sense right that if 20 percent of the debts are taken out he can pay that and have 42 rupees left right so the first point is his debt is greater than his assets debts are greater than assets here the total debt that he has is 400 assets is 520 so it is wrong or you can do the calculation also if 400 is reduced by 20 percentage it will become 320 and his total asset is 520 so out of 520 he'll pay 320 he'll be left with 200 rupees but we know that he's left with only 42 rupees so option a is wrong but you need not do this if you are smart you will say that option a is straight away wrong because his debt is more than his assets here debt comes out to be less than assets similarly option b 500 is less than 521 the debts is less than assets so wrong right third option option c looks okay and option d also looks okay because in both the cases you see that the amount that he has to repay is more than his assets here also the amount that he has to repay thousand is more than his assets 525 now what do you how do you find out the correct answer reduce the debt by 20 percentage so 600 minus 20 percentage how much is that 480 and his assets are how much 522 so if you see 522 can be split as 480 plus 42 right he will pay 480 to his uh, creditors and 42 will be left with him so does it satisfy the given conditions yes and hence option c is the answer